In this Scanner Master video, we're going to show you how to use the Sentinel software. What you want to do, uh, load the software, and you can download that from our website, which you can see a link below, uh, to download that and install it on your computer. And the software only works on Windows-based operating systems. Once you have the software loaded, you're going to plug in the scanner into the computer with the provided USB cable. I'm going to power it up. Once the radio is powered up, we're going to uh, select uh, mass storage, so press E. couple of things you want to do. You want to make sure that the database is up to date. Um, you can check down on the bottom of the screen here for the database version. I believe I've already done this this week, but I'll show you how to do it. So you're going to go up to Update and Update Master HPDB. And it shows that we have the current version of the database. This can be updated each and every week. Usually a new database version comes out around Sunday or Monday uh, towards the afternoon. So you can update the database accordingly. So hit OK here. We've updated the database on the software, but we need to write the brand new database to the scanner. In order to do that, you're going to go up to the uh, Scanner tab and then we're going to select Write to Scanner. Now we see here that the SDS100 is connected to, this, to the computer. We are now going to Force Write Full Database. So we're going to hit a check mark there and then hit OK. This will take a moment. Okay, so now the database is up to date on your SDS 100. So we can just hit OK here. Now the next thing you want to do is check the firmware. I believe the firmware is up to date on my SDS 100, but I will double check. What we'll do is go to Update again, Update Firmware. As you can see here, it's on drive N. It recognizes that the unit in SDS100 is connected. I will hit OK. Now it's going to check the unit in server. It appears that we have an update. So it'll take a moment for that to download. Now at this point, what we want to do is hit OK. And you want to press the power button on the scanner so we're going to reboot the scanner without unplugging it from the computer and on the scanner screen it's going to show loading firmware do not power off while updating the firmware so this will take a few moments Once that is done, the scanner will uh, reboot, uh, which it's doing right now. I'm going to put it back into mass storage mode again. So I'm going to hit the E button as soon as it prompts me for mass storage. Now if you want to create a favorites list, it's pretty easy to do with the Sentinel software. What you're going to do is you're going to visit uh, radioreference.com. Here in radioreference.com, you would then click on the database and then it would take you to this page here on their website. You'll see a map of the United States. Today we're going to set up a favorites list for Portland, Maine. So we'll go up to Maine and we will look at Portland which is in Cumberland County and we'll scroll down and take a look what type of system they're on 
and looking here that the uh, city of Portland is on a digital trunk system so we're gonna click on this and this will take us to their digital trunk system here it looks like the police departments on there and let's see they also have an analog trunk system as well so we're gonna have to do a couple of uh, imports here for the police and fire so now we'll go back to the software so in the software we have a root tree right up here at the top we're gonna to click on the United States look for Maine and we'll have to import in both of those uh, trunk systems. So we'll go to Cumberland County, County Systems. And let's start with the Phase 2 trunk system right here. And we just want the police dispatch off of this system. So I'm going to right click on that talk group, append to favorites list. I'm going to create a new favorites list. We're going to call this one Portland and hit OK there. So we've got that. Now we need to get some of those analog talk groups on the analog trunk system, which is uh, Portland Molarola. And we will go over here, we'll go to Police, and we will select uh, just a few of these. And we will uh, right click and then apply to favorites list and then we will do it to the Portland favorites list again and then let's grab up some of the fire department talk groups as we can see here here they are we actually want to grab all of these we even we're even interested in in South Portland so we can right click on the root tree option and we can click append to favorites list so I'm going to do that here click on Portland and then hit OK. And now that is done. So what I'm going to do is get some conventional frequencies. I'm interested in Freeport. So back on Radio Reference again, we're still in Cumberland County. I'm going to take a look at Freeport. Looks like Freeport is analog conventional. So we want to grab these frequencies from the database. All right, looking here at the root tree under Cumberland County, we see uh, Cumberland, and then all the cities and towns within the county, and it looks like Freeport is right here. We're interested in all of the uh, conventional frequencies that are listed here, so I will then right-click on this category, append to favorites list, select Portland, and then hit OK. What we're going to do is just minimize everything here, and then if we scroll down to the bottom, we're going to see our favorites list. I have one here for the office. I have a railroad scanning favorites list. And then I have the Portland one that we just created here. Now we have our favorites list created. Now it's time to write that favorites list to our scanner. Very simple to do. We're going to go up to the Edit tab, Edit Profile. This box will appear on your screen. What we want to do is make sure that these two items are unchecked, monitor full database and monitor search with scan. We want to make sure those two are unchecked. Down below here, if we want the favorites list to be running on the scanner, we'll put monitor on and then we'll make sure download is on. If you want to leave these on or off, you can select those and do the same thing here. For now, we just want Portland to download, so Portland on for monitor and on for download. We will hit the X here and now that we're ready to write to the scanner we're going to go to scanner, write to scanner, we see our SDS 100 is connected and we will hit OK. And now it's done. And now you have successfully updated your SDS 100's database, firmware, and created a favorites list. Make sure you subscribe to Scanner Master on YouTube and follow Scanner Master on all of our social media platforms. Visit us online at scannermaster.com.